Hey what's up guys, today another unboxing and this time of an SS Creed collectible um, It's going to be the Hidden Blade from Aguilar in the uh, movie Assassin's Creed which came out in 2016 for people in the United States and uh, 2017 this year, January 5th um, for people in Europe and I think for the rest of the world as well Oh nice, they put some candy in there. <laughs> um, by the way, the reason I uh, got this hidden blade is because Ubisoft sent me a code like 40% off um, for the Ubi collectibles. And the reason why is because I'm a very, very old fan. Uh, and obviously I love collecting things. And they thought, let's do him a favor, so why not? Um, this is actually my first hidden blade, by the way. I never owned one before. The reason why is... Um, they are plastic and I would have preferred if Eve I understand why the blade is plastic but if the mechanism was metal because in the detailing which is very very nice anyway but in the detailing you can easily see that it's plastic and if that at least would have been metal it would look so much more cooler um, especially uh, for example the the gauntlets of and the hidden blades of Ezio Auditore they look really really cool but the gauntlet itself is also plastic well, as you can see the hidden blade in this thing is plastic and you can see it pretty clearly and it would have been so much more cooler if even just the gauntlet um, was metal and the blade was plastic that's the actual reason I never got any of the previous hidden blades due to discount this time I was like ah, why not because I really need one in my collection because I've been an SS Creed fan for a very very long time I've actually been an Assassin's Creed fan since back in 2008. As you can see, this is the disc that I got from Ubisoft themselves. Because um, back in 2008, Assassin's Creed came out for the PC. It came out in the for the Xbox and PlayStation in 2007. But as a promotion for the game for PC gamers, they got it for free with every PC or notebook um, that had Intel technology. So that was cooperation between Intel and Ubisoft. Ever since then I've been a big fan of Ubisoft and obviously of Assassin's Creed. So here we've got the hidden blade finally out of the box. Let's hope get this all this plastic off. I guess okay. I think I can use that as a stand later. Not sure. Oh man, it looks really really cool. Let's get the hidden blade on to see uh, if it works. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a hidden blade on now. Um, as you can see, you have to push the blade in. What you do is it's locked. When you do that, you unlock it by pressing this down. And then you can push the button to extract the hidden blade. It just pops out. If you push it back in, it will automatically lock again. So you have to unlock it again if you want to fire it again. As you can see, here, this is the lock position. And this is the unlocked position, so you can see the differences between them. It's very easy to use, of course. And it feels really, really nice to go, uh, even though it's not real leather, it's fake leather, by the way. I don't know if I already said that. But it feels really, really nice anyway, really sturdy. Um, yeah, I would have preferred real leather, though. It would have looked so much better and would have felt so much better but this is, is still really really cool um, as well as this part here is a bit loose it doesn't really do anything it's just to look cool of course but sadly it's a bit loose I will show that in a second um, and of course I would have preferred if they had a hidden blade mechanism with just uh, the ring so you could uh, extend and retract the blade with the mechanism without even doing it with your other hand because that doesn't look as cool and as you can see here that's the part what I'm talking about that was a bit loose even though it doesn't do anything it's just uh, it would have been so much better if it was a little sturdier a little better but hey um, as you can see this is the new gawk compared to the the hidden blade compared to the black flag armor piece like um, that came out back in the day and which was 20 centimeters long and this one is 30 centimeters long so it's a bit longer 
Um, as you can see the detailing on the core plate is really really nice as well as the detailing on the hidden blade which you can see now um, which is obviously very very nice I will give some more close-ups as you can see um, the detail on the blade by the way is on both sides as you probably saw it came with this plastic stand which allows you to set up the corklet and let it stand on its own so you can really put it nicely in a shelf you can also just take it off and just lay it down in uh, somewhere in a display case or something which looks really really awesome as well but I obviously prefer to let it stand and um, I'll show you a picture on how I put it in my room in my shelf so that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time